Hi my friends, today we model this part. It seems to be simple but you'll see that it is not so simple. This is the drawing and you must uh, notice that uh, these are not cylindrical but conical, both with an explanation here. This part is uh, here, number 11 from my collection of 100 parts. We start by creating the cylinder. Diameter of 28, height of 31.5 and a chamfer 2 at 45 degrees. New empty document. Part design and blender here. And we start the sketch is based on this plane. We draw a circle, diameter of 28, close, and pad on a dimension of 31.5. We apply the chamfer of uh, 2 at 45, OK, and we create this hole, diameter of 6, depth of 12, placement of 5 millimeters. This face, this sketch, a circle on this axis. No matter what is the diameter and the distance of 5 millimeters from center to center. We have a 1 degree of freedom missing because we didn't place the diameter intentionally close. Now hole. The diameter is 6 by default. 6 is what we want to be. Dimension is 12. You see here the angle of 118 degrees. OK, then the other hole of uh, 15, diameter of 15, depth of 18, concentric with the cylinder, but coming from the bottom. We turn the part, we select the face, we create a sketch, here is placed a circle, no matter of diameter, close, hole, the diameter is 15, then the depth of uh, 18, same angle at the, at the end. OK. Now you see they are intersecting. Good. Now we have to read this uh, text, this note. The taper, usually called K, is the report of the diameter difference of two cross sections of a cone. This is taper 1 divided by 50 and the axial distance between the sections. In other words, we take care of this diameter, this diameter, and the distance of 28. This diameter is known, this diameter is not known, but we have to apply a simple calculus here. The taper from the drawing is uh, 
1 divided by 50. And A is 2 millimeters. Then uh, this uh, C diameter is uh, A plus L. This is L. Multiplied by 1 divided by 50. Or A plus L divided by 50. That's the, the expression we have to use. And the same is uh, here, but the difference is this uh, diameter of 5. Coming back to the drawing, we see that this is placed at 5 millimeters and this at 8 millimeters. We create a new sketch, this plane. See inside, you see the two holes. And we apply this tool, create external geometry, which means to project in this sketch some lines from the, the existing geometry. I select this and this. Then a polyline starting from here, horizontal up is greater, left uh, down is smaller. We apply the distance of uh, 5 millimeters here. Let me move this line. Not 4, 5 millimeters okay then we place coincident this line with this point coincident this line with this point coincident then Dimension of uh, this point and this line is uh, 2 divided by 2 because it is a radius. The other end, if I move it a little, is uh, given by an expression. Dimension of this small line and the expression is parenthesis 2 plus 28 divided by 50 and everything divided by 2 because we have a, a radius not a diameter. What is here? This is the dimension Okay, fully constrained sketch, close, and now we have to apply revolve. Revolve about this uh, axis. We cannot uh, use an axis from a sketch. We have to create a datum line to be uh, this, the bottom line. Okay, then we apply groove by selecting a reference, and the reference is this axis. Now you see the result here. Okay, the datum line is uh, not visible now, and we see the result here. Similar construction is for the other 
a taper hole. We apply section, we project this line, then we draw a polyline starting from here, horizontal, up and down. This line is not vertical, we apply we select the line and we apply vertical. Then coincident between this line and this point, this line and this point. Now we move this a while because the distance is 8. What distance? The distance between this and the center point 8. We place the dimension here of uh, 5 divided by 2 and we place coincident this other line with this point and the expression here from this point to this point is uh, parenthesis 5 plus 28 divided by 50 everything divided by 2 okay this is the value good fully constrained close we turn back this we apply line datum to be this then okay groove we select manually the reference this and okay now we know the lesson we apply cancel we select the sketch we go to the tab sketch, validate sketch, highlight the troublesome vertex, vertexes, and we see, we have to see something here, but I don't see anything. Then we apply enable was enabled and recomputed close group we select the axis and we have this uh, hole okay we hide the datum line and this is the final part that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye